right, apologies for a quick, a short delay. We are ready to start the match. Uh, welcome everybody to the live stream. This is a Minecraft Capture the Flag tournament. Two schools are competing in today's match. We have the Anglo-American school in Sofia on the blue side, and we have Nova International School on the red side. Uh, let's welcome all students. Let's welcome both teams. This is their first match. Uh, in the tournament, this is the the, the first m match, the first time they're playing versus each other as well. So um, I am super excited to see what both teams have prepared for today's games, what strategies and tactics they uh, will demonstrate in today's match in order to outweed their opponents and advance in the bracket. So. Let's get started. Uh, my name is Evgeny. I'll be the com commentating the match today. I'm one of the organizers of the tournament, and I'm more than happy to be your host today. So what we can see so far is the rapid advancement from the um, Sofia school. We can see two players that are trying to penetrate through the wall. They were spotted by the red team. Uh, a little skirmish is happening. Uh, the wall will nevertheless be destroyed. So we can see right off the bat that the, the Anglo-American school of Sofia was prepared with the tactics to send two players to immediately start digging through the wall. In the meantime, um, nothing much is happening on their base. Uh, we can see one player is left on the front wall uh, and the same is happening um, on the blue or red side. The flag has been captured and then returned. So the two players were able to get inside the base, capture the flag, but the flag was returned. We still see a little skirmishes happening, though it's not successful and the red team was able to defend their base. So pretty good rush from the AS team. Uh, normally, uh, we've seen successes from the teams that rush the base or rush the attack from the get-go. Unfortunately, that did not yield the point for the blue team. But nevertheless, they've been able to uh, get an opening uh, in the right-hand side of the on the right tower, which leads inside the base, and then you can get into the base quite successfully. So we are now transitioning into the early stage of the game uh, that is typical of teams building or, or trying to reinforce their flag. And this is exactly what we can see on the Nova's side um, of the of the base. We can see a uh, spider web was used to reinforce uh, the uh, flag so it's not easily captured. Um, right, so looking at the frags, at the frag score, we can see that red team and blue team are goes neck to neck. They're eight to eleven. Um, we can see a little attack is happening uh, on the red side. Nothing, not many actions are happening uh, on the blue side. Um, maybe, and I'm I'm just guessing. Uh, maybe the blue team has decided to resort to mining strategy where a couple of players would go and mine for resources. We still don't know much about those teams. This is their first time uh, playing this tournament. So it's interesting to see what strategy they will be able to bring to the table. Um, let, me, let me just give you a little bit of a view of the map from here, maybe. Yeah, that's a good angle, I think. Um, so far, we've seen three attacks are executed by the Angler American School of Sofia or the blue team. Um, red team still plays quite defensively. We can see all five players centered around the area. Uh, they're roaming around. They understand that the blue team is trying to put very high pressure on them. This is the third attack. This is the third attempt. And we can see one player was able to get through the um, through the same opening in the right hand tower, right hand side tower. Uh, it's quite it's quite hard to get to the flag though. We can see a spider web was used around here. Um, actually, let me just do one thing. I just don't want to interfere with the gameplay, so I just made myself a little bit invisible, so I'm not distracting other players from the game from the gameplay. All right, um, let's quickly look at the play around that we can see there are two substitute players for nova and we don't see any sub players for the uh, blue team so it's five versus seven with two players being substitute um i've noticed that there are two cons consistently there are two players from the ass who are leading the attack and now three players are elsewhere we didn't we can see one player all two players on the defense and then one player is missing at actually we don't see where um, where he or she is. 
Now looking at the frag score, again, both teams are um, going neck to neck. It's 13 to 14. And the reason I'm bringing up the frag score is if there's a tie at the end of the game, both teams are given five minutes of additional time. And then after that, the winner is determined by the frag score. So it's important to keep a tab on what is happening here as well in case there's a tie, um, which is the case now. All right, five minutes into the match. Uh, the score is still zero to zero. We've seen no attempts by the Nova team to get into the blue base. Uh, all the actions have been happening on the red hand side of the map. And this is what we can see so far. Uh, we can see player from the blue team carrying an iron, what looks like an iron sword, is it? Is it an iron sword or a stone sword? It's hard to tell from here, but it's definitely two players with enhanced swords. Initially at the start of the game, players are giving wooden swords and now uh, they were quite busy uh, crafting or mining materials, and now they have swords that will deal more damage than default swords. So it's interesting to see how they will be able to leverage this advantage um, to deal more damage to the red team and then get to the flag. So a little, uh, oh, look at that. Um, we can see a player from the um, Anglo-American School of Sofia uh, equipped with diamond uh, chest plates, diamond helmet and what looks like an iron sword or a mm, stone sword so we've seen this tactic being used before by lf and y school uh, we've never seen actually this is the red team apologies this is not this is not anglo-american school of sofia this is the nova team i'm just going by the color of the pants um so this is red team um maybe that's the reason they were quite reserved and not uh, leading so many attacks because they understood that they are in minority. They only have four active players on the field and they have one one player who went mining. Apparently, this is just my guesswork. Uh, they also patched up the wall here. Uh, nevertheless, it's still not as mm, sturdy as Cobblestone, but I anticipate there will be a fight happening here because the Nova team understands that the, the, the uh, AS will penetrate the base through this through this wall. Uh, a team fight is happening. One player from the red team is falling down. Another player from the blue team is falling down. It's one on one. So the two, two players um, have been taken down in this little skirmish. Another player from the blue team is said three players are going down. One player is left. He's trying to arrow down uh, the red player and they try to retrieve. The player in the um, the player in the diamond, it looks like it has been enhanced as well. I'm just going by the color. Uh, we see a little mining station taking place on a Nova. Um, it's just going to peek inside. So they, they do have plenty of iron here. Look at that. They have 11 ingots here, 12 here. Um, so this is a, a, an enormous amount of iron that the red team is, uh, are, are, they're getting ready. It looks like they're gearing up. That's probably the reason why they kind of like forestall their attacks and they're just making sure they're in a good shape uh, before they start an attack. So far, they've been under increasingly uh, increasing pressure from the ass from the blue team, but the blue team has not been successful. And I'm a little bit worried and I'm a little bit concerned that the blue team, despite their attack, despite their pressure, they have not been able to capture any flags and they're losing their time. Um, and now the flag is going to be captured. The flag is captured by the player seven. He's got spotted by this player. And you see, this is just in, in, in instantly the player is taking down because this is an iron sword, an enhanced iron sword. And you can see how much damage this player is able to deal are uh, having this iron sword and having other players no armor except from the starting armor. Um, so I'm going to guess that once this iron is is um, smelted and you see here i'm gonna guess that the red team is going to equip their players with iron swords and iron um chest plates and this will be the time for them to lead the attack and they will have around 10 minutes to capture those flags and then it's going to be really really hard for the blue team to come back to counter the crafting strategy that we've seen in the past uh, LF and Y, the the the, uh, the team that will be playing uh, in uh, tonight as well, actually was the first team that used the crafting strategy, and they were quite successful in the previous two seasons. And now we've seen this tactic used before. And now we can see the first attack uh, led by the red team. We can see a coordinated action taking by the team. We can see one player leading from from the front, uh, and we can see a group of people leading from the right. So I'm going to give you a better angle from here. Um, 
the same wall, the same tower is used to get to get into the tower, uh, two players to go in. I'm trying to follow them to see where they go. I think this is where all the action is going to take place. So I'm going to follow the player in the uh, diamond diamond armor, armor and iron sword. I believe they went this way. Yeah, they're here, here they are. So I think this is where the main action is going to take place. The flag is, is left unattended. Uh, it's captured. And then the player has got a pickaxe. He just... Mm, uh, runs through the wall as butter, and now he runs uncontested. Look at this movement. Uh, I think he sets the base on fire as well. Another tactic being um, used by teams developed by Anglo-American School of Moscow in the spring season. So now the base is on fire. The player's carrying the flag. He is trying to be contested by the blue player, but then the door has been opened just in time. This is a crucial mistake that many people made, many teams made, and the point is scored for the Nova team. Um, now the score is one to zero in favor of Nova, and this is an, this is interesting. How the Anglo-American School of Sofia is going to fight back? Their base is on fire. They don't have much resources, and now they have to somehow counter the player who is wearing diamond um, chest plate, diamond uh, helmet. And look at this. He is able to just go and just destroy the entire team. Just four players. Player 24 has just taken down three or four players, and he has no qualms going in and capture more flags. And that's the, I would say, the threat of the mining strategy is that if the other team decides to mine, it's important that the team that plans against them, they try to punish that team early on. So therefore, okay. So uh, the player, the red team player who was wearing the um, the diamond stuff is taking down and now the blue team has actually was able to get all the diamond and I can see the uh, diamond helmet is, 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 is lying on the ground. The enhanced sword is there as well. This is another crucial mistake that can grant Anglo-American School of Sofia a little bit of advantage and foothold. Now they have taken back all the equipment that Nova has acquired and now they have a chance to come back and actually are make a change. So let me just fix the light a little bit, a little bit here. I just realized I'm sitting in darkness. <laughs> um, all right, so very interesting, very intense game. Um, having said that, uh, the red team is on, is on fire as well. So let me just explain what this does to the base. It's not so much the fire that is dangerous, it's the fact that the base under the tower is now destroyed. And when the players spawn from, their, from the lobby here, they spawn on this tower, so now instead of just jumping on the roof, they will have to jump down and take damage, and they're gonna start the match or join the field by having uh, fewer health points uh, than they did when they had a roof to jump on. Now, both bases have been essentially destroyed. Uh, that's, this does two things, actually. This does expose the hidden area, so it's now becoming uh, harder for other teams to hide in this tower here. So now this tower is pretty much non-existent, apart from this skull here. I like this skull. It looks pretty scary. Um, okay, so we can see um, a player who doesn't have any armor except for iron boots or diamond boots. But I'm curious to know how uh, the blue team will be able to leverage uh, the advantage that, they, that, ha that they've gained by taking down the player. And now we can see, uh, okay, the player 14 has just taken down two players. And this is how powerful the diamond armor and the diamond sword is. We can see two players are taken down and the final player from the red team is taken down as well. Now the base is completely open for the player to take the flag. And now the blue team, they have about 20 seconds before the players respond. The flag is captured and now player 14 is going to get away scot-free because all players for the red team have been sent to respawn. Now they're back, but it's too late and the score is very soon is going to be one to one. What an intense game. What an intense game. It can go either way now. Remember, the player who's carrying the, the diamond armor is still outside the base because the door has been sealed and the player needs to find a way to... They're trying to put something. They try to put the door. They're trying to mine some blocks, but they're still out. 
It's a very dangerous situation to be in, to be with a flag hanging out on the on the tree. Okay, they've been able to get in. They need to find a way around. I'm still hoping they will be able to score the point. All right, one to one. And this is kind of like a downside of sealing your flag is that on one hand, you, yes, you are protecting your flag, but then on the other hand, it's really hard to score the point once you have the flag. So you have to destroy part of your base. Anyways, it's one to one. Let me just check Discord, making sure that everything is okay. We have five players on either side. Everything is running smoothly. Uh, live stream is, li is going well as well. Now, one to one. Um, which team has an advantage? I think at this point, blue team has the player who's got iron or diamond armor, armor, and you see they just destroying, they're just evaporating the red team. They're gonna score another point unless the team, uh, the red team, is able to stop. Player fourteen is taking down the flag is returned, in fact, but the red team was not able to reclaim the loot that they lost a few minutes ago. So player seven is going to capture the flag. Player 29 is after him. A very important fight is going to take place and the blue player is able to uh, rescue himself and get the base. Had the red team, had the red player taking down this particular player, the flag has been returned and there were also, they would have been able to reclaim the loot. But now the score is going to be two to one in favor of Angler American School of Sofia. Right, two to one in favor of blue team. Very intense game. We have about three minutes remaining. Red team still has a chance. They need to act quickly. There's no, I, I say there's no way. Maybe there is a way to stop this player in the in the diamond uh, armor, but it's really hard. And this is what experience proved in the past. Once the team has this um, loot, it's really hard. It becomes really hard for the other team to, um, to fight them neck to neck or head on. They f need to find a way to sneak around to grab the flag and then somehow evade, um, avoid fighting this player um, in the diamond suit. Um, and this is exactly what is happening here. Uh, player 14 has taken a lot of damage. There are two players here, and I think, I think player 14 is gonna take some more damage and maybe they will be able to, uh, oh no, okay. That was a chance. That was a chance. That was a two on one, but this is so powerful. The diamond armor is so powerful that you need to somehow coordinate your attack so you do not give a player a time to recover health because otherwise they're just going to destroy your entire team. If there is too much of a break between one attack after another, if you don't chain them properly, player 14, you see they have time to, re to regain their health and now they're just going to rush again uh, with two of them, um, student 14 captures the flag. Lots of lots of fighting is happening, but student 14 is able to get away one more time. Uh, blue team played really well here. Uh, they were able to stay back and distract the red team from capturing the most important person on their team, the person who is carrying the flag, which is player 14. Uh, the score is three to one with around three or two minutes remaining and the red team needs to act really quickly. Even if they lose, it's not the end of the world. It's still a group stage. It, they still have time to, to earn points when they play other teams. And, and this is a slight difference we, we made uh, from the last tournament. Uh, we're not playing the elimination bracket right off the bat. We're playing the um, round bracket first. So teams have more chances to play versus other teams and they don't punish as much as if they lose one match. All right, uh, the score is three to one. Let's quickly look at the frag score. We can see red team. Uh, actually, the score is quite um, quite the same. We can see 49 points for the blue team. That means they've taken the blue team has has um, has taken down 51 players from the red side and the red team 53. So the score is pretty even, um, I would say. So in terms of PVP capacity, both teams demonstrated uh, similar abilities, but in terms of score points, I think, I think, and I'm, I, this is just my speculation, the red team has made a crucial mistake. Uh, yes, they were able to get the diamond sword and the diamond armor, but they have, they, they should have been more careful in protecting this important person because once they lost this important um, materials, they let the other team snowball. 
And that's, that's an important mistake that you shouldn't make. Yes, you can strategize and um, find these resources, but then once you have them, you kind of, that's, this becomes your responsibility and you have to be extra, extra careful. Player 14 saying I'm hitting and nothing is happening. Um, so to make sure. Maybe there's a lag. But anyways, we have the final countdown for three, two, one. And congratulations to the blue team. Well done, blue team. Well done, Anglo American School of Sofia. Well done. Well played. Uh, same goes for... <laughs> I'm just hoping you're reading the comments there. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very surprising to see, you know, when you don't see a player for for some time. The score is three to, to one, by the way. The final score is three to one. Um, but yeah, I was a bit I was a bit I, I was anticipating the to see a person in the diamond, and this always happens when you see one team is kind of playing defensively, you don't see them do well. You don't see them too much, and then all of a sudden a player appears uh, equipped with a diamond and armor. Diamond and... and um... All right. Everybody, thanks for the game. We're going to stop hosting now, uh, and then we have another match uh, starting in about 15 minutes between LF and Y, the legendary team that have been playing Capture the Flag for a very long time, and Anglo-American School of Sofia, the team that has just won the game. So we'll have a short break, and then we will start a new live stream and a new match. So take a break and join us soon. We will stop this live stream now, and then we will join again in 15 minutes. Thank you for joining, and see you later.